Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today we're gonna to look at the K7 Jix 1000. The only rider is not a professional mechanic and is not responsible for any personal injury or vehicle damage that may result from individuals attempting the repair shown in this video. You have been warned, tried to run risk. One feature of this motorcycle that is incredibly frustrating to a lot of people, but some people might not even know is going on is what is known as the fuel cutoff at deceleration. Again, in an effort to, you know, save all the happy little trees, Suzuki decided to program this bike so that anytime you're in motion, reading motion from the speed sensor, and you suddenly cut off the throttle like you're slowing down to a stop sign or something, the computer is programmed to completely cut off fuel to the fuel injectors completely. Now, of course, that saves a little bit of fuel, but it also is very frustrating when you're riding the bike. I mean, think about it. You're running along and then all of a sudden you cut off all fuel to the engine. It makes it stop hard and also makes it jerk hard when you're starting because you're cutting the fuel all the way off. And then when you give it a little bit of gas, it's turning the fuel back on. And so it's cutting the fuel off, turning the fuel on, cutting the fuel off, turning the fuel off it's very frustrating. It makes the bike feel very jerky when you're starting and stopping. Most people online will tell you that the only way to get rid of that feature is to flash the ECU. That's not true. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to disable the fuel cutoff without flashing the ECU. For starters, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put your bike into service mode. Take the rear seat off, take the rider seat off, take the plastics off, and raise your gas tank up. When you first turn the key on the ignition to your bike, the Power Commander software will read just for the first couple seconds, what percentage of throttle it's getting from your TPS sensor. So when you first turn it on, it should stay zero normally. Okay, 0% throttle. Turn the key back off. Now, this time, we're gonna turn the key on and I'm gonna open up the throttle all the way. And we're at 100% throttle. It only stays on for about two seconds. So we know that 0% throttle is zero and we know 100% is 100%. So after you get your gas tank lifted up, you're gonna locate the TPS adjustment screw. And that screw is right there. And it is a T25 tip. Now, as you can see, the hole where that screw goes in is actually kind of an oval. And it's an oval so that when you loosen this screw, you can actually shift the TPS left or right a little bit, and that's for calibrating your TPS to where the actual throttle blade is inside the throttle body. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this screw with our T25, and we're going to take this flat tip screwdriver, and we're going to get underneath of it, and we're going to push the TPS this way, just, just a tiny bit this way. By moving the TPS sensor up that way a little bit, we are basically going to cheat and we're going to lie to the computer and we're going to tell it that our 0% throttle is actually only 2% throttle. In other words, it will never read 0% throttle. When you, when you let the throttle all the way off, it will only go down to 2% throttle. It will never hit zero. Your physical butterflies are still going to 0% throttle, but your TPS won't read zero anymore. And that's, that's key because if the TPS never reads 0% throttle, the computer will never shut off fuel to the fuel injectors. So again, we're just going to break it loose. And we're just going to push it up with the flat tip screwdriver a little bit. It's gonna be such a tiny amount that you probably won't be able to see it in the camera. Tighten it down. And we're gonna see if we got it right. So key on. We're at 1% throttle. I prefer it to be at 2% throttle just to make sure you're not gonna hit zero and it's not gonna cut your fuel off. So we're gonna go a little bit further. Okay, so we're gonna loosen this screw again and we're gonna move it up just a smidgen more. Key on, 2% throttle. Now go ahead and turn the key on again, this time holding the throttle all the way open and make sure that your 100% throttle hasn't changed. 100% throttle. One more check just to make sure. 2% throttle. Okay guys, that's it. We adjusted the TPS to never tell the computer anything lower than 2% throttle, so it never cuts the fuel off to the fuel injectors. And that's it. You've disabled the fuel cutoff without an ECU flash. Enjoy!